always exploring um, uh, trying to find new places where, where, where we can take people and, and have a really authentic wildlife experience and get good photos. We uh, look for places that's pretty wild still, with charismatic animals, often the big cats, that's what we're after. Places where we're allowed to go off-road. Places that we go to are, are really places that we believe we can get good photo opportunities in, in a short space of time. I went to Mashati for the first time in, I think it was 2008, Grant and I went there and it it was instant love. It's very different to other places in Botswana, but it's also pretty unique in terms of the whole of Africa. The other thing at Mashatu is you have relief. So you have dry river beds that are cut into the land. You've got gullies and dongas, and, and you've also got little hills. So what it means is when we get an animal on the move or walking along, there's at some point there's a good chance that animal's gonna go up somewhere on one of those little hills or going to be on the elevated area and if we are able to position our jeep lower down we then get amazing perspectives where you've got an eye level approach with the animal you can include the sky and it really opens up your imagery there's two camps uh, in in the reserve we use the the one called Mashatu main camp Mashatu is quite well known for their really good food really professional but very warm and friendly staff. So typically on our trips we have two vehicles. Uh, Helena will be in the one vehicle, I'll be in the second vehicle and then we'll have a maximum of three photographers uh, in each Jeep. And the Jeeps at Mashatu have three rows of seats. So then each person has an entire row to themselves. So they can access left side, right side. The guides are very respectful in how they approach the animals. On a normal day, we would be heading out uh, well before sunrise. A lot of the carnivores that we like to photograph, jackals, lions, leopards, uh, even cheetahs, they're often at their most active. That first uh, uh, sort of 30 minutes to one hour after sunrise. So if we can find any of those guys just as the sun comes up or before the sun comes up, not only are they active, but we've also got fantastic light from the side. In the summertime, specifically January, what comes with that is the beautiful big stormy summer skies that make for very good landscape photos. If you go in you know, the rainy season, you have a green carpet everywhere. So for your images, you're not dealing with yellows and dusty browns. Suddenly you've got this rich green background to everything that you photograph. I do what I do because it allows me to combine watching incredible wildlife, uh, helping people take better photos and then spend time uh, in some of the wildest, most remote, unspoiled places uh, on this continent. You get to know the people, you get to know what they're after, you get to learn more about how you can customize an experience for what they're looking for specifically and they just become your friends. You know, it's, it's really like just being on a holiday with friends, so it's pretty good.